Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 12 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with this screen right over here and all you need to do is tap on this arrow and then find your desired language. I will be using English. Now on the next page you can select your region though for me it's already selected a correct one so I'm just gonna go to the next page which allows me to check my keyboard. Uh, now, to be completely honest, there is only one keyboard here. Uh, Google voice typing is not a keyboard. So, why is this even here? And on the next page, we have Google, uh, well, not maybe Google, but this phone, uh, terms and conditions. Now, you can tap on these two links to read exactly what you are agreeing to. You can see a nice bedtime story right here. And from there, you want to select the checkbox at the bottom uh, that you have read and agreed to them. And from there you can go to the next page which will start checking for your sim card now, this step is completely optional and you can insert your sim card right now if you want to or you can completely ignore this the reason for this being here is so you can use mobile network to connect to network and that is uh here for the fact that you can log into your google account with it and uh, Obviously you can skip this, you can insert a SIM card at any given moment uh, after the setup has been completed or throughout the setup and it will work just fine. Uh, but this is strictly here for the Google uh, login page. So I'll be basically skipping this and also I'll be skipping Wi-Fi connection page. So for me, uh, Google login page will not show up and additionally date and time will just because it's not going to be set automatically so I, I can fix it up if it's not correct. So I'm going to select skip right now, which brings me to Google services. So we have things like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Quickly going into all three of them, uh, location is just GPS tracking for apps like Google Maps. So it can give you a correct route to your destination if you're using it as a uh, GPS navigation. Allow scanning allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then below that, send user and diagnostic data allows Google to basically gather data on you and send it to themselves, aka spy. So I'll disable this one. And on the next page, we have the option to actually set up some kind of protection to our phone. So we have two different methods. We have a screen lock and we have also a under display fingerprint sensor. So we could add a fingerprint. Now, if you're planning to add a fingerprint, you will also be required to add a screen lock. That is, so if something happens with your finger, maybe you cut it or uh, the sensor doesn't really work correctly or something, just whatever the case may be, you still have some other way of unlocking the device that be pen, pattern or password. That's kind of why it's here, but I'll be skipping it as well. And this brings me to additional settings. Now, some of them will repeat as you can probably see location. Uh, so these uh, toggles right here are strictly from Xiaomi. So whatever you have right here, you basically allow Xiaomi to access it. So we have location that Xiaomi can access. We have send user and diagnostic data to Xiaomi. We have automatic system update. Uh, then we have uh, personalized aids, uh, ads I mean. Uh, then we have wallpaper carousel, which is just like a, just a slideshow, I guess, on your uh, lock screen of like different wallpapers every time you uh, basically wake up the screen. And lastly, we have uh, user experience programs. So for the user experience programs, you can tap right here on the blue text to read exactly what these are. You can disable them if you don't want to. Again, location, I don't really care for Xiaomi to know my location or for them to actually get the person, or not personally, but uh, the diagnostic data. So basically just check what I do on my phone. Um, I'll mention also one last thing, which I absolutely despise, which is the personalized aids. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why I keep messing that one up. Uh, I, I mean, ads, as you can see right here. And when you try to disable this, uh, it gives you this pop-up right here uh, with the most uh, just like bullshit way of dealing with it because you're trying to disable something, right? I'm just kind of trying to explain this, so bear with me. So when you disable something, if the toggle needs a confirmation, you just press right effing here to confirm it, right? Uh, that's how basically every Android is designed. So the confirmation is always on the right side in whatever the theme color is. But hey, guess what? That just will keep it on because they don't want you to turn that off. So they use this bullshit reverse psychology to flip it around. 
Ah, I absolutely despise this. Now, the reason why I despise this, maybe I should also go in deeper. Um, this trash will basically use uh, your search history, your microphones to constantly basically get everything that, about you that, for instance, you might be interested in. Are uh, you talking about dog food? Guess what? You're going to be getting now ads based on dog food. You're talking about someone uh, about it, uh, whatever it is, you're getting ads about it. You search for it, you write it anywhere on your phone, you're going to get ads based on this. Absolutely just trash feature. If we can even call that a feature. Feature usually adds content. This one is just creepy obviously china so yeah um highly recommend disabling this just f this option and from here we are basically prompted by this uh, again the carousel that's basically what it is even though i think i disabled it let me quit actually i can't really get rid of it can i i hope i can't fantastic so I'm pretty sure I turned it off, so I'm not sure why it's popping up again. Uh, but this is basically what you're going to be expecting from your carousel of uh, wallpapers. Um, now right here they kind of picked decent ones to showcase, but some of them are just kind of weird. Uh, for instance, like wallpapers of furniture and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure some people will just utilize it just because they don't bother turning it off. Uh, some people might be probably bugged out by by this just because the wallpaper some of them are just meh So anyway from here we can go to the next page which allows us to choose the default launcher so um, We have two different options our classic one Which is kind of like the default for Xiaomi for some reason and then we have the app drawer Which is a default for any kind of Android phone basically and what they are is classic is just all apps smack in the middle of your home screen uh, so you'll have pages and pages of apps if you have a lot of them uh, all basically just in your home screen organized by whichever one you downloaded first to last and then app drawer actually uh, gives you this if you select it you can actually see the animations so you can pull out the app drawer which will contain all your apps and actually xiaomi has a decent uh, decent app drawer just because it also has categories so you can quickly cycle through them and find apps based on categories as well so i would probably recommend using this it's much cleaner and easier to find your apps and from there we basically finish up the setup so there we go that's basically the setup of this phone so if you found this very helpful, uh, informative anyway, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.